Why do people often resist change even when it's beneficial? This is due to several psychological and emotional factors. One, fear of the unknown. Change can be intimidating because it involves uncertainty. The comfort of familiar routines is often preferred over the risk of the unknown. Two, loss of control. Change can make people feel like they're losing control over their environment or situation, leading to resistance. Three, comfort in routine. Routines provide a sense of stability and predictability. Disrupting these can be unsettling. Four, lack of trust. If change is proposed by others, especially in workplaces, there might be a lack of trust in those making the decisions. Five, Fear of failure. People may worry that they won't succeed in a new situation, leading to reluctance in embracing change. 6. Past experiences. Previous negative experiences with change can make individuals wary of new changes. 7. Social influence. Social circles and cultural norms can pressure individuals to resist change to maintain group cohesion. Understanding these factors can help in addressing resistance and facilitating smoother transitions. Here's another question. How do cultural differences affect people's willingness to embrace change? It can significantly impact people's willingness to embrace change in several ways. One. Collectivism versus individualism. In collectivist cultures where group harmony and tradition are valued, there may be more resistance to change that disrupts social norms. In contrast, individualistic cultures may encourage change that promotes personal growth and innovation. Two, power distance. Cultures with high power distance may resist change initiated by lower status individuals, relying instead on hierarchical approval. In lower power distance cultures, change might be more readily accepted if it promotes equality and involvement from all levels. 3. Uncertainty. Avoidance. Cultures with high uncertainty avoidance prefer stability and predictability, often resisting change to avoid potential risks. Conversely, cultures with low uncertainty avoidance may be more open to experimentation and new ideas. 4. Long-term versus short-term orientation. Long-term oriented cultures might embrace change that promises future benefits, while short-term oriented cultures may focus on immediate outcomes and resist changes with delayed rewards. 5. Traditional versus progressive values. Cultures with strong traditional values may resist changes that challenge established customs, whereas progressive cultures may actively seek change as a means of improvement. 6. Communication styles. Direct communication cultures might openly discuss and negotiate changes, while indirect communication cultures might resist change to avoid confrontation or loss of face. These cultural factors shape how individuals and groups perceive and react to change, influencing their willingness to adapt.